Hi, I'm Deborah. And I'm Lawrence. And in this video, we're going to talk about the relationship of ADHD to depression or how the two frequently go together and why that is. Um, so people with ADHD, one statistic says, have an up to four times higher chance of having depression than people without ADHD. And especially people with hyperactive slash impulsive type of ADHD have a higher risk of suicide also. So that's, that's something to be aware of. And later, we're going to talk a little about some of the biological or, or mental health issues that probably exacerbate um, depression in people with ADHD, but probably do not, aren't actually the cause of it. We're, we're coming from both our, our experience. Both of us had ADHD from... I have ADHD. Yeah, well, you had. had. Well, I still I have. have ADHD. Okay. Well, you usually refer to it in the past tense. Well, I think the reason is because I didn't get diagnosed with ADHD until I was in my late 30s. And the thing is, by that point, I had, first of all, gotten through school, which made for some very extremely painful um, uh, situations with ADHD. But also, I just had come up with coping mechanisms um, on how to deal with it at work. Yeah. So that you know, th then it's not that it's in the past for me. It's just that the most, um, the, the most destructive, you know, or, or the part of my life that was, was most effective by HD, ADHD is behind me. I definitely still have it, especially. Yeah. I, I still suffer from it. It's, yeah. uh, it sucks, and it got me into a lot of bad situations when I was younger in my elementary school. I got told, told off a lot for it, yeah. uh, just because I was talking to people very often. It's very likely that depression comes about to a great extent when you have ADHD because of the experience you're having with ADHD. Um, so, like me, you know, yeah. you get into trouble because of it, and that's not going to feel good. Well, there are a lot of different things. This is something that's really important to catch because what happens and what at least Lawrence and I feel is probably, a, you know, a big part of why kids with ADHD have depression is because not in his case, because he had trouble with schoolwork, because he got excellent grades all the way through up until sixth grade. Um the problem, you know, although obviously there are kids who are going to struggle with their grades because of having ADHD, it's, it's kind of a given. I'm just surprised it didn't happen to you. But what happens is you get all this negative reinforcement. So you're constantly being criticized by, um, by adults at the school, by other kids, um, and teased. Um, it sucked. That's just that part. And the other problem is you may have, which I had, uh, is a lot of people with ADHD don't have a filter. So in other words, a thought comes in their head and it comes out their mouth. Yeah. That's gotten me into a lot of trouble. Yeah. I mean, for me, what I think I noticed, and I think you noticed too, is a lot of social problems because of this. So like I distinctly remember in fourth grade, there was a boy I had a crush on and um, anyone who had that filter probably would not have done this. But what I did is I walked up to him when he was hanging out with some other boys and said, I really like you. Do you want to come over to my house after school? So fourth grade is already when, you know, like boys and girls are just, you know, not friends. Yeah. So, but the problem is, as I said, thought comes in the head, comes out the mouth and, you know, or action. Like my thought came into my head, I'm going to go talk to him. And I did it not looking, not taking the time to assess the situation and saying he's talking to other boys. Obviously, that's not going to go over well. So um, kids with ADHD and adults with ADHD then r can run into some social problems because of this. I, and, I can confirm that it's absolutely true. And because what it life. does is it makes you strange. So because it puts yeah. you, you end up being in situations that you wouldn't be if your brain had that like 
speed bump that I call that it stop also. Gap. That stop gap that like keeps you from doing this stuff. So um, like, as I said, for me, I think I've learned to really be careful. And you obviously have learned this at your age. But, you know, um, so so then, you know, you're catch- part of the reason I don't talk much, because usually the stuff I'm thinking is either dumb will probably offend somebody or make me look crazy. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, it's just even just these weird thoughts that everyone gets. The problem is with ADHD, a lot of times they come out your mouth. Um, yeah, and- I, I had an issue with that when I was a kid. Yeah. A lot. Yeah. So, um So the thing is, is so you've got the negative reinforcement and it can really destroy someone's self-esteem. Just, I mean, you know, Lawrence had other things going on. He was getting bullied just in general, um, you know, probably partly for that, but for other reasons. And um, so his self-esteem was so low by the time I say you were maybe in third grade or something, something like that. Yeah, it was um, it was awful. So the depression was was you know from that point was really bad. Um, we you know something that's very very important. So when someone has depression and ADHD, obviously as with anyone else who has depression, you want to look at possibly antidepressants, depending on how severe the depression is. But something that absolutely has to be part of depression treatment for someone with ADHD is therapy. So therapy to undo that that negative self-image that's built up because of all the negative feedback from everyone around them. Um, so that that's something that you know, we finally found a, a good therapist and, you know, so Lawrence was able to work on that. But the, you know, the thing is, is even if you, you know, this is not saying that if you have ADHD as an adult, then, you know, it is what it is. Um, you know, I, I, for whatever reason, didn't have a real problem with with negative feedback, um, probably because not having hyperactivity as much when I was younger, um, it is less common with girls. Um, I didn't get that type of negative reinforcement. I was just very quiet. So, um, so, but the thing is, is that, um, you know, adults also then run into a lot of problems with ADHD, not just in social situations, but in the workplace. Um, ADHD does not lend itself to being able to do the best job on um, projects or just day-to-day work. Um, so someone, so another type of therapy that both kids and adults with ADHD should look at is, um, there, you know, there, especially for kids, there are certain types of therapists who can help you develop routines and um, coping mechanisms. Um, as I said, I just developed those on my own because I didn't have a diagnosis. But for adults especially, um, just learning ways to get organized, just learning ways to keep your focus on, you know, on your work and not get distracted easily. Um, one, um, one resource that I would absolutely heartily suggest for anyone with ADHD or a parent of someone with ADHD is Attitude um, Magazine, which is online. They have tons of articles, um, just lots and lots and lots of really good information. Anyway, we'll put a link below. But um, so there are, you know, there are some things, as I said, that um, probably that may exacerbate depression when you have ADHD or contribute to it. Um, One is that um, people with ADHD um, typically have a, um, it's called a dysregulation of dopamine, but basically it means that your brain doesn't, um, I guess, doesn't retain dopamine, as much dopamine, and that's a chemical that's used to um, regulate mood. Um, so that's that's something that could be, um, you know, in play. So people with ADHD 
also can have something called emotional dysregulation, which means that they can experience emotions extremely intensely and they have trouble then separating or, you know, calming down those emotions and um, separating from those emotions or distracting themselves from those emotions. So that's something that often also um, gets negative feedback from other people. And so then that can contribute to depression. So ADHD is frequently goes hand in hand with other um, mental disorders. So it could be OCD. It could be um, bipolar disorder. It could be obsessive compulsive. I just said OCD. Um, it, you know, it could be other types of anxiety. Um, so it's just one of those things that is the same thing with depression. Depression can go hand in hand with things like OCD or anxiety. So we don't know why. We don't know if there's, you know, something about certain brains that, you know, tend to have more than one disorder. But it's, you know, that's, that's just the way it is. So it's not unusual um, if, you know, let's say you have anxiety um, then there could be, you know, anxiety could lead to depression. But for some reason, a lot of these um, mental illnesses just just end up, you know, you don't get one. <laughs> I have, Unfortunately. I have ADHD, I have OCD, and I have depression. And I think that's it. Um, <laughs> but, I mean, you know, this is this is just something that, that we found. We don't know why, but it is. So, um so, you know, again, in some cases, it may just be that it's for whatever that, that unknown reason, um, depression and ADHD go together in some people. Um, I, and for, all, you know, and most people with ADHD are not going to make it through life without having that either frustration over, you know, problems with reading, with schoolwork, or with you know, um, work in a workplace, it, you know, it's really unlikely that someone's just, if they have ADHD, they're just going to have absolutely no problem with those things. Um, it's the reverse is much more likely, but also the likelihood of someone with ADHD not running into that negative feedback all the time is also pretty slim. So, um, so it's something that is, is definitely needs to be treated because, um, you know, if you have depression, that just ruins, I mean, it, I don't want to say it ruins everything, but it's all encompassing. If you have depression, it's not just like having a broken leg and it's just something that's there. Depression is in your brain. So it's going to affect not a fun time. everything. It's going to affect your entire outlook. So depression has to be treated. Um, so um, this is something that, especially if you're a parent of a child, who, with ADHD, do not let it go on without the child having the support of a therapist and, if necessary, at some point, um, of uh, a psychiatrist to, you know, um, prescribe medication. So, because this is going to have a profound effect, right, on on the child's life. There's there's really no way for them to have ADHD and have it not be affected. Um, so you might want to look, we do have a video on doing the 504 plan in school. I think that one in particular, I think we're talking about depression and anxiety. Um, you might want to look at it though, just in general for some of the tips, but also, as I said, this, this attitude site has tons of articles and, um, it's really, really, um, a, an excellent site. If you're a parent of a child with ADHD, it, it deals with behavior and all sorts of things. So that's it well in any case if you enjoy the video you can give it a like if you didn't you can give it a dislike if you'd like to say anything at all you can put it in the form of a comment and if you'd like to see more uh go ahead and subscribe but in any case we hope that you have a nice day take care